Are you tired of your Minecraft looking like this? How would you like it to look like this? Well, here's how you can do it. Just follow this simple tricks guide and it'll get your FPS up to 60 if you have a decent computer. And by the way, when I mean decent, I don't mean like gaming computer. I just mean like a 2010 laptop probably. I don't know. So I personally have a graphics card. It comes with my gaming PC, but um, but like, yeah, so I have a GPU, so my computer is going to handle things in Minecraft better than like a laptop per se. So um, I'm, I used to have a laptop though, and I know how to get it to good frames. So here's how you're going to do that. So go into your options and step one is go to video settings and turn this to fast. Now what this does is if you have it on fancy, it uses a lot of your processor which slows your game down. It says right there, lower quality, faster. So you wanna change it to that. You wanna turn smooth lighting to off. Now this probably will look bad, but you know, if you want smooth FPS, you're gonna have to sacrifice some quality. So brightness, it, this doesn't really matter. This section, keep it at whatever you want. Dynamic lights, you should keep this as off. Uh, render distance, I have this at eight. You don't really need anything more than 8, but if you want the highest FPS possible, just turn it down to 2. Like for me up here, I'm getting 250-ish, while I would normally get around 120. Max frame rate, you're gonna want to put this on unlimited, because if you limit your FPS, like, why? There's no point, just keep it on unlimited. Uh, view bobbing, this doesn't matter. VBOs, this plays a big difference. I don't know exactly what it does. It renders faster. Okay, there it is. Alternate blocks. I don't know what this does. These two don't really matter. Now, here's where we get to like the small stuff. Fast render. This is a big thing. Turn this on. If you want the best possible FPS, turn this off. But this makes it to where it doesn't fluctuate as much. So I keep this on personally. Uh, chunk updates. One, it loads the world slower but it doesn't really matter because if you play on hypixel they have enough server power to load it quick enough um just all this stuff you can go through and uh see if it would help you at all uh you can just copy my settings pretty much i don't know if fast math is good fast math fast math does a lot as well uh, one big thing that I saw was going to other, and if you keep it on 1920 by 1080, scroll it down to 720, because I heard that helps your FPS a lot. Um, all this, though, really doesn't do much. I'm going to scroll this back up just for the sake of the video. Um, animations. This does a lot, so if you're like playing Skywars, and a lot of this stuff will go into Skywars. So you're going to want to turn all of them off, and that will boost your FPS the most. Um, details, this stuff, you can either set it to off or smart. Like, this is just some quality of life things, it makes your game look better. It doesn't really do too much for the FPS, but if you want the most possible, I suggest turning it to off or smart, or fast. I don't know. So, that's pretty much all that you can do in here. So I'm gonna set my settings back to normal, and then I will show you the rest of the things that help. Also, another thing that I forgot to mention is when you're doing, when you're putting a texture pack on, put like a low resolution, like 16X, minus 16X. You can download it in my latest video. Don't use a 64X or a 32X, because that puts more strain on your processor to load the textures so keep it at 16x so another thing that you can do is um you can download mods like optifine and frames plus those kind of rework some of the rendering in minecraft to help you get the best fps possible and i will show you how you can do that just in a little bit so um when you're here just go to chrome and it doesn't really have to be Chrome. 
it could be like whatever browser you want but just go to their website boom right here optifine downloads go to show all versions go down to 1.8 or whatever version you're playing on hit download it'll do its thing it'll send you to an ad you just wait five seconds and just ignore this this is a scam so skip then you're right here just hit this and it'll download but i don't need to because i already have it installed better fps okay yeah this will uh enhance your minecraft performance a little bit it'll make it render better it does this i don't know what that <laughs> i don't know what that does i'm not i don't know what that stands for uh other than that the other big thing that i can think of doing is getting a client like lunar client this is what did the best fps for me i actually have it installed on my desktop i think yeah right there but i don't ever play on it anymore because i don't need the fps boost anymore but yeah, if you want it, get it. It helps a lot. Other than that, I don't really have many tips. I just wanted to make this video because I know a few people that are struggling with their FPS. Like, mine is struggling right now because I'm in the lobby. Let me get into a game so I can do this bit. So yeah, I just made this video because I know a few people that probably need to boost their FPS a little. And I thought I would just put it out so that whoever sees this can just get the best FPS possible. You know what I should do is... Hold on. I should play a game with all the minimized settings. So, tiny, EPOs. Ooh, another thing. Turn sky, sun and moon and custom sky off that gives you the best frames as well performance yeah everything's good there all off all right here we are this is what it looks like so I'm getting like north of 200, sometimes even north of 250. Yeah, I'm getting north of 220 most of the time. And someone's doing math in chat, so. So this is kind of what it looks like without all the fancy stuff. This is like the best performance possible in Minecraft for me right now. Um, yeah, this is what, it looks pretty bland. It doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. Maybe it's because I'm not doing it right, I don't know. I did turn my screen resolution down. So the video is probably not going to look as good right now. No, no, no. He hit me off. Okay, cool. So, I think the biggest part that annoys me is just the sky. The sky just looks awful. Render distance I can handle, even when middle isn't rendering yet. <laughs> um, yeah, this isn't awful. It's... Basically, this tutorial is just telling you how to take the most strain off of your processor so that it can free up all that space for performance. For the first to middle... Oh, I want the ender pearl. Okay. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Can you not? Thank you. I can TNT trap someone. Or, you know, I can just keep it for when I need it. We didn't get any armor from that, so our armor's not gonna be the best, but if I can clean this, I should be fine. Okay, there we go. Got a lot of stuff out of that. This is what the fire looks like. This is another thing that I don't like about it. Let 
I'm just gonna sort this out a little bit. Hi. You know what? This guy's being annoying. Go away. Thank you. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Anyway, GG. So yeah, that's basically how you get the most FPS possible, and I'm still below 60 in the lobby. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, check out my other videos. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. Bye.